Something occurred to me about your past. Someone, actually. No, my mother. She was your age when she had her first break, wasn't she? Nothing ever worked for her. What hope is there for me? Don't do that to yourself. What am I gonna do? I didn't want her to see me like this. Hi, sweetie. Hi, baby. It's okay. I love my arms. I want to hold my daughter. Mommy! Let me hold my daughter. Mommy! 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 What you know is true. Don't have to tell me. For those who believe in resurrection, death is inconsequential. It's not an ending, but rather a new beginning, a second chance, a reunion. Come on. My voice isn't that bad. Daddy said you were sick. I'm all better now that I'm with you. Oh, don't worry, baby. We're on vacation. But the very idea of resurrection is so seductive a concept. Gordon, it's me. Where are you? Um, some guy claiming to be a detective Lasky came by with a, a sketch asking questions. I, I know what I'm supposed to do, and if I don't hear from you by tomorrow, I'll, I'll start shutting everything down and go dark, like we promised. Only I'm hoping I won't have to, that somehow you're still okay. God, Gordon, please be okay. I love you. I decided that after this job, I'm gonna call it a day. Retire from duty. When I come back, let's go somewhere like that. What do you think? There's no loitering here. You want a room? You need to come inside. No need, ma'am. Detective Lasky, Southampton Police. In a rental car? Department cutbacks. Have you uh, seen this man? Might be someone that checked in a week ago. Paid cash, stayed one night. What's he wanted for? Kidnapping. Keep your distance. This is a very dangerous man. Thank you. Okay. Southampton Police Department. Southampton Police. Yes, I need to speak with um, Detective Lasky, please. Okay. 
The truth this time. Well, I'm not the enemy, I can tell you that much. I'm making a mistake, Kara. You made the mistake. Gordon would never have told anyone I was once Kara Clark. Which means you were either working for the Graysons or you're working for the Initiative. Because you sure as hell aren't working with my husband. Whoever it is, you better hope they send someone. Gordon chose this remote spot very carefully. When I come back, it'll either be with Gordon or not at all. They say, let he who is without sin cast the first stone. And to be without sin requires absolute forgiveness. Come on, baby, hang in there. Amanda! No! Don't touch her! Okay, come on, breathe. Breathe, Amanda. But when your memories are freshly open wounds, forgiveness is the most unnatural of human emotions. Where are you taking my grandson? I was just trying to settle him. I'm his godmother. I'm Kara. Amanda's actual mother. May I? Don't worry. He knows his family. Oh. Amanda was the same way. Always happy in her mommy's arms. Oh, so perfect little baby boy. What was Amanda like as a kid? She... She was so gentle. She wouldn't even let me kill a spider. No matter how big or small, I had to catch it in the glass and set it free outside. She just always had this innate goodness. Will she ever talk about me? Honestly, no. Sorry. Oh, no, I, um, I get so focused sometimes when I draw. I forget where you are. You, do you draw? Yeah.
Amanda. She didn't recognize me. I really thought she would. Can't imagine how that must feel. I still can't accept that David was capable of such terrible things. He was my high school sweetheart. Can you believe that? You never know when or how you'll meet your true love. He was only my first love. There's a difference. Well, at least David didn't destroy Amanda. No. He didn't. If you want nothing to do with me. So I'll just... I'll just say my piece and go. Despite all the odds against you, you survived. And you've grown into an amazing, amazing young woman. You're strong, and you're independent, you miss everything that I could ever have hoped for you to be. You need to know that um, I was very sick for a long time. I was not fully in control Don't of my actions. Your father and I we made a choice, one that I knew I would story. have to live with. Be better for her if she thinks I'm gone. All the words are gonna flee from me. And Your father found it in his heart to forgive me. good with secrets huh? and as far as the Graysons go they'll get what's coming to them people like that always do I have bad news oh yes that does seem to be going around shut the door Kara Whatever demons you're struggling with, we can get you the best help possible. The only demons I'm struggling with are standing right in front of me. I want a confession. You can start by telling me what you did to David. You were never in love with him, were you? Oh, no, she was. She was very much. I mean, too much. I want to hear it Kara, from v her. Victoria had nothing to do with what happened to David. It was all me. Why, you of all people should understand that. And, and I'm sorry to say that your David was a very trusting man, which made the thing it was almost child's play. Looking for this? Get in the dressing room, both of you. Put these on. Make no mistake, Kara. After David's arrest, there was no relief, and after his conviction, there was only guilt. What? So you want me to believe it would be too merciful to kill you? Shut up! Kneel down! The blindfolds! Put them on. Put them on now! I'm sorry, Victoria. Unfortunately, the people that Gordon worked for have you in their crosshairs. Whatever plans you had for the Graysons would likely end up getting you killed if you'd stayed. My only plan for the Graysons was to scare them into telling me the truth. There's, uh, <clears throat> there's a car, a full tank of gas and some money to get you started in. You're not taking me in? <sighs> not if you promise never to return. It's the only way to save yourself and your daughter. I don't know how to thank you. Well, just 
Keep yourself safe. Kara, is there anything that you want me to tell Amanda? Just tell her I wish I could have been a better mother. <laughs>